Whether in the air, at sea, or on land, rescue teams are on call night and day, all year round. It's evening and the Dartmoor Search and Rescue Group are gearing up to recover a casualty on the moor. Everything they need is either on their backs or on the lightweight aluminium stretcher. All they need to do now is to find the injured walker. Can you tell me what you've done to yourself? When he's located, oh his injuries are assessed. What have you hurt? Do you know? Your leg. OK. Meanwhile, team leader Rob Dixon is able to pinpoint their exact position thanks to an app on his smartphone. Uh, SX704712. 704712. We await a casualty report. Thanks. Dart 02, Dart 02, Dart 26, over. Increasingly using View Ranger now, and that shows us uh, on, on, on the phone exactly where you are, your track, and where you are at all times. This can be picked up by control, and also other people with the same system can also find where you are as well, but through the, sort of the, the buddy tracker system. Inside this incident control vehicle, there are other forms of new technology designed to assist in search and rescue. This is the, the Sarman system and this um, allows us to plan and record a search for a missing person. So the, the flag there is um, where it's marked the position, the, the point at which the person was last seen. Um, we can also tell it the, the type of lost person profile um, the person we're looking for. It then plots these circles which, um, which use historical data to give us an idea of how far they may have travelled. There's even a way of texting an app to the smartphone of a missing person that tells search teams their precise location. Back on the moor and the casualty is being prepared to be moved. His injury isn't real, but the Dartmoor Rescue Group carries out exercises like this every week. That's really good. 02 from 26, we're leaving the CAS site now. Over. The team's made up entirely from volunteers, each with a passion for the outdoors and a willingness to help others. Now at least technology is helping them to do the job more easily. John Danks, BBC Spotlight, Dartmoor.